I will guide you through the whole process of creating a client website with AI. I have amazing tips for communicating with your client with the power of AI to keep everything organized and professional. We'll go through the process of gathering requirements all the way to building a functional website. I'll give you the exact prompts that you should use. And the best part is that with AI, you can have full control over the UI without using a design tool. I'll also compare the two easiest AI coding tools that you can use so that you can make a decision for yourself. Hi, my name is Jad. I'm working on building a community where we can learn together and push the boundaries of AI for UI UX. And today I'm gonna share with you a part of the community course that I'm creating, which covers communicating with clients effectively. When you're working with a client, the first thing you need to do is gather as much requirements as possible to extract actionable info from the client, to pick out all the info from their brain. So the first step is creating a questionnaire with AI that the client can fill out that includes all of the information that you need for this specific project. So let's start with Claude, my favorite LLM. You can do this with ChatGPT, but it's not as effective, and I'll tell you why in a bit. So copy this exact prompt and fill out the basic project info that you have, just to give a direction on what questions need to be asked. I'll include all the prompts in the description. All you need to do is replace the text in the brackets with a product type and industry. This prompt tells Claude to design a form that is crafted specifically for this client that you have, and it will give you an interactive form that your client can actually fill out and save the results and send them to you. It's an HTML file that they can open in their browser, fill out all their info, and save it to their computer as a PDF and send it back to you. And this form includes a button that does an action when it's clicked. It automatically transforms the form into a summary of the results that can be saved into a PDF. And that's the part that ChatGPT cannot do, unfortunately. Let's test it out with a random idea here. Let's say a product type, I'll go with a website and I'll say the industry is e-commerce for geeky gadgets. And here's the result, a beautiful professional form. All you need to do is just click download and open it on your computer. It will open in your browser and then go ahead and test it out to make sure that it's actually saving all the correct info. So I'll pretend I'm a client and I'll fill it out with realistic info here, just so that we can move the demo forward for this video. I'll say nerdy, geeky, handpicked gadgets for tech enthusiasts. As a client, I gave some examples of categories that I want, and I also added anything else that you can come up with. That's me as a client communicating to the designer. And I want filtering by tagging, and I specified the theme roughly, what kind of theme I want, a dark theme with neon. I added the name of the website and a visual style that I wanna go with and technical requirements. So now I'll click save, and there we go, it automatically transformed this page into a summary of the results. And all your client has to do is click save as a PDF and they will have a PDF with the results that they can send to you. And I think this is a much more effective way to communicate with your client, to have everything in a document, clearly stating everything they need from you rather than going through the emails and going back and forth. And I'll show you how to move the conversation forward using the exact same method. So now that you have your client's requirements, you need to go and analyze them with Claude. Just copy this prompt and attach the PDF. Now that Claude created a sitemap for the product for you, just go through it and ask for any changes that you want. Once you're happy with the sitemap, copy this prompt to generate another form for your client to go through and approve all the requirements for the UI. That way you make sure your client is on the same page and they will see exactly what you're working on before generating the UI so that the client can verify and comment on each part of the requirements. And there we go, Claude generated a beautiful form that the client can either approve or select needs review for each section and they can also enter their comments. And they can do the same thing. They can click the save answers button and it will create a summary of the answers that they can send back to you. Now you get the idea of how this all works. You can use this method to communicate anything with your client back and forth. It's just much better to have everything documented. All of the communication back and forth will be documented in PDF forms so you can always refer to them rather than going back and forth with emails. So once you have all the communication done for the requirements and everything approved, of course, go back to 
to Claude. And you can attach those documents to get Claude to create a structure for the product based on everything that your client required. So now copy this prompt to Claude. That will tell it to create a description of the homepage in plain text so that you can generate it with a UI generator. And this results in a very detailed description of the homepage that you need to cover all of the requirements. And now all you have to do is go to an AI coding tool. I've been using Bolt, but recently I started using Lovable because I found that it's a little bit better and it gives me less errors, but the UI with Bolt still looks a little bit nicer. But I prefer the reliability of Lovable rather than having a beautiful UI because you can always prompt Lovable to fix the UI for you. And it's not bad by all means, it just looks a little bit nicer and bold, but they're both very good. And with Lovable, I found it easier to organize my projects. And you have this feature where you can see every page of the project that I couldn't do that with Bolt. And you get better history with Lovable. And when you ask for specific changes, Lovable goes and edits the specific code that it needs to edit without rewriting the whole page. So that is very useful and saves a lot of tokens and works faster because it just changes that snippet and it gives you the results immediately without rewriting the whole page. So I really like that about Lovable as well. And it's also integrated with the database directly within Lovable. Bolt also integrates with databases, but you have to prompt it. But in Lovable, they have that feature built into their interface. So yeah, mainly I'm using Lovable now because it's giving me less trouble. <laughs> so here are the results. I'm gonna show you Bolt and Lovable. They both gave me a beautiful design, but as I said, Bolt is a little bit nicer. So they both gave me this glowing logo and glowing text, which is really cool. So it has some kind of animation as well. The text is not very clear and lovable, but in bold it looks amazing. And the cards for the categories here uh, look better in bold, but you can prompt lovable to fix the aesthetics of your page. They both adhere to my prompt very well. They followed all of the instructions that I gave them for the homepage. And they both gave me a really good responsive design. There we go, both are really beautiful. You can pick the one that creates better UI if that works for you or pick the one that gives you less errors but they're very very close see now in lovable I can go and modify this uh, header text that is not very legible see I changed the text glow and the text color and it did that immediately without rewriting the whole page and there we go it looks much better right now and then I can go further and tell it to modify the cards below to make them bigger and change the button styles and anything that I want. Once you're happy with your homepage, go back to Claude and tell it to create the description in the same format for the next page that you want to create. Like here, I want to create the shop all page. So I'm getting results from Claude. I'll just copy them and paste them in Lovable. I'll do the same with Bolt just to see the difference. And there we go. We got a nice filtering page with Lovable. Bolt is giving me an error. And there we go, it fixed it. Yeah, Bolt is still looking much better in terms of UI. There we go, we have quick view in both. There's the difference for you. Go with the one that you prefer. And if you wanna fine tune it and control every aspect of the UI, then it doesn't really matter how beautiful it is right out of the box. Because with Lovable, you can modify every single element of the UI. So you can always guide it to look the way you want. I hope this video helps you with your projects. If you have any questions, ask me anything in the comments and I'll answer every question. And if you're interested in joining a community of designers, developers, and entrepreneurs, pushing the limits of AI and supporting each other to navigate the AI wave, click the link in the description and let me know where you stand. Thank you for everyone who expressed their interest in my last video. I'm working on this community and we're on track to launch in January. I'm putting all of my effort on building this community the right way to have the best format to be able to help everyone and to show everyone my progress behind the scenes. We'll also have community events while we're learning and helping each other. For the rest of this year, I'm gonna be pushing for this community. So this will probably be my last video this year. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I'll see you in 2025.